Welcome viewers once again to another TV box stop review, and on today's presentation, we feature a TV box that's big. And I mean really big. It's actually the biggest heaviest Android TV box ever created, and with a design that makes a statement. This box is the Zidu X10 Media Player, Real Tech Android 4K TV box. After the break, we have a full review of this intimidating looking TV box, along with benchmarks and my final thoughts and opinions on this latest device, so stay tuned, I'll be back after this. Take advantage of a buy one get one free epic TV box sale currently running on Gearbest.com, as well as flash deals on new arrivals best sellers, and top brands in TV boxes, see the link in the description area for more information. Welcome back! And to get things started, I would start by saying that this TV box is not cheap, with a price at around $209.99. The Zidu X10 also stands as one of the highest priced TV box to date, so what do you get for this price? Let's first take a look at the package. The X10 comes in this heavy grey box that's a similar quality grade to the box that the Nvidia Shield comes in. It's well labeled with features about the box, and if we look to the back here we will see lots of specs about the box. It shows that the model is the X10. It comes with a VFD front display. It's made of an aluminium alloy case. It comes with dual operating system, which is Android 6.0, and OpenWRT. The CPU is the Realtek 1295 Quad-Core Cortex-A53 CPU. The GPU is the Mali T820 Tri-Core GPU. It comes with 2GB of DDR3 RAM, and 16GB of internal storage. It is 80211 dual band Wi-Fi, and Ethernet LAN speeds of up to 1000 megabits per second. It has digital audio pass-through, and picture-in-picture -picture display. It has support for 4K video playback at 60 frames per second, with decoders like HDR10 bit, H265 HEVC, and VP9 decoders. So I'll just take a minute to unpack the contents of the box. In the box, you have the X10 Media Player unit itself. You get this really nice Zidu infrared remote, and we'll have more on this remote as we go along. You get one HDMI cable, one audio video cable, which is a 3.5mm to RCA connector cable. You get this 12 volts 3 amps power adapter. A pair of Wi-Fi antennas. A Zidu guarantee card. And a user setup guide. Let's have a look at the box. The Zidu X10 is made of a really nice rough polished metal housing design with curved edges. It measures 7.5 inches wide, and 2.5 inches tall, with the box itself with a weight of 1.80 kilograms, which equals to about 3.39 pounds, and the total package weight being 3 kilograms or 6.61 pounds. To the back of the box, you get two HDMI ports, one is an input, and the other is the HDMI output. You have one RJ45 Ethernet port, one audio video port, you have one optical audio port, a micro SD card slot, a reset hole button, your DC power input, a cooling fan, making it the first Android TV box to implement this feature. And the last thing we have here is two Wi-Fi antenna connectors, and a power switch. To the right side. 
you have one USB 3.0 port, and two USB 2.0 ports. On the left side, you have a high-speed 3.5-inch SATA hard drive dock in bay, with a max capacity of up to 10 terabytes. To the front, you have what is called a bright vacuum fluorescent display, or VFD display for short. To the top, there are some features icons. And to the bottom, you have four rubber studs, and some ventilation holes. So I'll now connect this bad boy to my TV, and when I return we have the benchmarks and features segment of my review. So I've connected the X10 to my TV, and it starts with Zidu's startup animation which takes a few seconds. You're then presented with this launcher which is Zidu's trademark launcher called ZIUI. This ZIUI launcher is easy and simple to use, and it comes with a navigation bar at the bottom. This navigation bar has your usual volume controls, home and back buttons, a cascade button for multitasking between apps. You have a screen capture button, a picture in picture display button, which we will get to in a moment. You have a hide button, and a power button. The ZIUI launcher provides a simple way to add and remove shortcuts from the home screen. Simply click on the add button, and select or unselect any app you wish to add or remove from the launcher. The launcher also comes with an advanced system cleanup feature. By clicking on this cleanup button you are presented with a number of options to optimize the box's performance. You have a task killer, a cache cleaning option, an option for cleaning up APKs, and an option to uninstall applications. In the settings area, you have a really nice interface that allows you to change the setting of the box. In this settings area, you would want to check a couple of things. Under display settings, you should select the correct screen resolution for your TV. And under sound settings, you can select the option to have multi-channel HDMI audio output. And under USB audio settings, you can enable this feature, if you intend to use a USB surround sound headphone set. If we go back to the launcher, there's an HDMI button that performs a special function. This is Zidu's application for streaming and recording media from another HDMI device, and it also initiates the picture-in-picture -picture display feature. To use this feature, simply connect any device with an HDMI output to the HDMI input located at the back of the box. Then on the launcher, click the HDMI icon and you'll be taken to the recorder screen. For this demonstration I connected another TV box as the input device. Once you have connected your device, play a video and it will begin to show in this box. At this point you can choose to do a number of things, you can start to record a video by clicking the start record button. You can also choose where you would like to store your recording. This is where the hard drive dock in bay and the USB 3.0 port comes in. In order to record video streams in HD quality, it requires terabytes of storage. You now have the option to install let's say a 2 terabytes hard drive, or you can connect a very large portable hard drive via the USB 3.0 port. For hours of continuous recording. Another feature is the ability to schedule a recording. This is very useful when recording TV shows and movies at a particular time, or to start recording a stream from a device at various intervals during the day, or to start recording at a future date. And there is more. There's a really nice feature which is the picture-in-picture -picture display, or PIP for short. This feature allows you to view whatever you're recording in a small picture screen, or you can simply use it as a second screen while doing other things on the box. Other features include, the ability to change the recording resolution to save space, and the ability to mute the video while it is recording in the background for silent recording. And that's it for the HDMI recorder. If we go to the apps section, it shows a list of all the apps installed on the box. 
If you need the Netflix YouTube and Facebook applications, you would have to install them from the Google Play Store manually. To complete my review, I'll have to install some system and benchmarking applications, so I'll take a minute to install a couple of them manually, and when I return we'll have the rest of the review. So my apps are installed and ready to go. But keep in mind, that the Antuta benchmark and the Wi-Fi speed test has an issue installing from the Google Play Store, so I sideloaded them with APKs. With that said, let's first check to see if the box is rooted. It shows that the box is not rooted, running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow operating system. Zidu provides root access to all their TV boxes via their one key root application, but during my correspondence with their support team, they have not yet released the root application for this model, but they assured that root will be provided at a later date. Let's check the updates for this box. And it shows that the software is up to date, and you have an option here to automatically check for future online updates. And now for some system and hardware information. Under system information, the manufacturer is Realtek, and the model is the X10. Below here it shows the box comes with 2GB of RAM, and the remainder after the Android installation. It also displays the remaining internal storage from the 16GB after the Android installation. Under CPU information, it shows that the CPU is a quad-core Cortex-A53 CPU, running up to 1.4 GHz on a 64-bit instruction set. However, below it shows that the box only has support for 32-bit ABIs. Under display information, it shows your screen resolution, and it shows that the display is powered by the Mali D820 tri-core GPU, with a refresh rate of 60 Hz. Under Network, here it shows that the box has dual band Wi-Fi support, and I'm connected to my 5.8 GHz network off my dual band router. And below shows the signal strength, link speed, and frequency. Under Android information, it shows that the operating system is Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and it also shows that the box is not rooted. Under thermal information, it shows that this box runs cool at around 42 degrees Celsius. This is low compared to other TV boxes, and it's proof that the cooling fan implemented to the back of the box results in a 28% decrease in operating temperature. Under codex information, here we have a list of all the decoders needed for 4K video and digital audio playback. In this list, we have H264, HEVC, and VP90 coding. And there's no H265 in this list. And that's it for system and hardware information. Let's now take a look at some memory read and write speeds. And the results show that the Zidu X10 has a RAM copy speed of 3301 megabytes per second. The internal memory has a read speed of 88 megabytes per second, and a write speed of 19. And the SD card slot has a read speed of 42 megabytes per second, and a write speed of 12. Analyzing the results in this instance shows that the RAM copy speed is below average compared to S912 boxes, whereas the internal memory and SD card read and write speeds were higher than usual. I'll now perform some Wi-Fi speed tests. The results show that on the 5.8 GHz band, the download speeds weren't consistent and none of the test hit the 30 megabits per second marker. And on the 2.4 GHz band, the results were the same, with one of the test hitting the 30 megabits per second marker. On the upload side, both bands were consistent over 10 megabits per second. Let's look at the Antuta benchmark. And the results show that the Zidu X10 got an Antuta score of 36,440. And again, 
This score is an average score consistent with other boxes in its class. We now show the results of the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark, where it shows that the Realtek 1295 CPU got a score of 571 single core, and 1634 multi core. And last we have the results of the 3D Mark Ice Storm Extreme GPU benchmark, and it shows that the X10 got a score of 5105. And that's it for the benchmarks. I now focus my attention on the media player side of the box. The Zidu X10 comes with a custom version of Kodi called ZDMC, which is built on the Kodi 16.1 Jarvis version. However, the current version of Kodi on the Google Play Store is 17.3 Krypton, and it can be installed to replace the custom version that comes installed on the box. So I've installed Kodi 17.3. And I've also decided to install a custom build from Gadget Junkies, due to all the third-party add-ons disappearing and causing confusion among the Kodi community. In this custom build you can still enjoy all your streaming of movies and TV shows without worrying about links disappearing, because your repository sources are automatically updated under this build as they change links. Keep in mind, that Kodi is not the only way to stream movies online. There are many ways to do so. One such way is with APKs, so I've installed a couple of the popular ones, and they stream just as good, or even better than add-ons on Kodi. Below I have a couple of the ones that work and show in HD quality. I'll now run some 4K video samples at different frames using Kodi to check the quality of the playback.
so viewers. As you can see, there were lots of issues with some of the 4K videos, the 1080p video played just fine, so I ran the videos again this time using the MX player, and the movies played a little better but still not the smoothest. What was a bit surprising, was the first jellyfish video ran smoothly using the MX player. The YouTube application plays in HD quality, with full screen capability. To test the GPU and the 3D graphics of the box, I'm running the game called Angel Stone, Rise of the Resistance, so let's take in some of the gameplay. With all settings set to maximum, the game ran without freezing or crashing. However, the graphics quality was not of the highest quality for this game. So in summary, the area in which the X10 stands out is its ability to facilitate a 3.5-inch SATA hard drive with a max capacity of up to 10 terabytes internally, and record media from other devices with HDMI outputs. The other area in which it stands out, is its cooling fan at the back that allows it to run cooler than other TV boxes, and the included 3.0 USB port. It plays all of the streaming movie APKs as well as Kodi, and the YouTube application plays in HD. On the flip side, the box's CPU and GPU speeds are a bit low when compared to other boxes that runs on the Amlogic S912 CPU. The box had difficulty playing some of the 4K video samples, and experienced some low scores in the benchmarks. The box is not rooted, and Zidu promises to release a one-click root application in the future. So how would I recommend this Zidu X10 media player? Well if you are looking for a device to record media from another HDMI device or to act like a DVR, then this box is right for you. As for streaming from various sources whether through Kodi Media Player or via APKs, then the X10 will also do the trick, for 4K video playback at 60 frames per seconds, not so much, some videos will not play. And for playing Android games, 
you're limited to only low-end graphics games. The price of the box is really high, and is not so reflective of the hardware used in this box. So viewers, this was my review of the Zidu X10 Realtek Android 6.0 Media Player. If you are interested in this device, see the links provided in the description area below along with the coupon code. And remember to take advantage of the buy one get one free Epic TV box sale currently running on Gearbest.com. See the link in the description area. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video if you found it informative, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel for more TV box stop videos.